So today we're going to take a tour of Sherpa, our awesome truck. So let's take a look. First up is the cab. We went for the double cab, which is two full benches, just to give us some more space. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff in here, like a rosemary plant. Has lots of storage, uh, both in the back and the front, between cubbies um, inside, as well as on the sides of the doors, which is super handy. Um, in the back, as you can see, full cab. We've got it stuffed full of our gear, sleeping bags, things like that. Then we've also got this uh, hidden cubby here where we're hiding all of our toiletries, medicine cabinet stuff, things that we don't want to leave in the bed um, and expo exposed to in extreme temperatures. Um, there's storage underneath the bench as well where we hide a lot of our um, emergency gear, toe straps, things that we don't plan on accessing very often. Um, each seat has this little access here that we can get to this stuff. Um, so if we need to, we can have it, but it doesn't take up space that we want to actively be using. So yeah, next up is the topper. We purchased topper from Escargo um, truck caps in Loveland, Colorado. It's super awesome snug cap. Um, this one comes with a wind door. As you can see, we can easily access all of our things from the side without actually opening the truck bed. We built this cool cubby so that we could have some miscellaneous things in the bed with us that we may want. Things like hammocks, extra pillows, blankets, first aid kits, uh, the slack line. We've also hidden trekking poles, bow and arrow, the crazy creeks, and things along the side of that cubby. And then in the tailgate side of the bed, you can see here our full setup. We've got um, our platform, which is built out of partitioned salvage tabletops. Um, they're carpeted with just super cheap indoor-outdoor carpet from Home Depot. Um, and they're partitioned, as you can see, easily removable, just setting on top of support beams. Um, we made them removable because we, you know, don't want this to be a permanent fixture of the truck. Um, they're easily removed through the wind door because they're too wide to fit through the tailgate themselves. Underneath you can see our storage here. Corbin and I both have two black bins apiece. Stores our personals, things like that. Um, and they have paracord attached to them so that we don't have to crawl underneath our platform to get them. Uh, we have two other bins, the green and white ones. These ones house uh, mostly our mess kit and food. Um, as you can see, just things that we use to cook, um, spices, things like that. The one in the very back, the harder to access one, has mostly just miscellaneous gear in it. So it's got our backpacking packs, as well as just some extra random scrubbies, weird spices that we don't use very often. Probably put some canned goods and stuff in there too once we hit the road. Um, keeps things nice and clean and easy for us to access um, without making a huge mess wherever we are. And then we will check out the actual bed, the thing that we sleep in. Uh, we made this out of some foam that we both found and purchased. Um, it's about 48 inches by 66 inches, so not quite as long as Corbin, but definitely wi wider than a twin size bed. Um, so we can both fit pretty comfortably. Um, and we also put in our own lighting system. This is called L Wire. It's uh, long lasting and not super duper bright. We also have the white light built into the truck cap so that if you know if we need to read or need immediate lighting, that's available. Install the cargo net and the top as well to give us some extra space. Um, as you can see, we have plenty of space to lie side by side with room to spare, and the height of it isn't too tall that we can't sit up a little bit. So it's a pretty rad build. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything in more detail, please let us know. We're available for all sorts of questions. So have a good one.